Hey everyone, it's Editing Kirsty here. Um, I'm just wanting to pop on before I start the vlog um, just to say that like this vlog was filmed in the week where George Floyd was mur murdered and then the following protests. Um, so there is parts of that later on in the vlog. Um, I didn't want to post this vlog last week because it just felt really disrespectful and not the time to be doing that. Um, so that's why it's now. Um, I completely and wholly support the Black Lives Matter movement and I'll leave links down below for the card where everything is like collated that's been spread around a bit as well as the petition for justice for Breonna Taylor. I think her story is absolutely horrifying um, and yeah um, I'll also be leaving link for um, donations for um, trans black women um, and a couple of other things that I've seen around so yeah, be sure to check those out. I'll also be leaving a link for a playlist of black content creators talking about how they they feel about Booktube, um, how people behave in this platform that's just not right. Like, it's just... I can't believe the attitudes of some people and the complete disrespect that there is and the racism. It's just... For a place that's supposed to be so accepting, it's just not... Um, so I'll be leaving a link for those that playlist down there. Um, um, the content creators that are in that um, playlist are also all great booktubers and yeah, they deserve support. So yeah, on with the vlog. Hey everyone, you reading vlog. It's Friday. I'm about to order my Friday night takeaway and yeah, glad to be on the weekend. The weather is miserable outside, which is really annoying me because I was going to mow my lawn this weekend. Hopefully I can still do that. Hopefully the weather's better tomorrow. Um, yeah. So where I left off in my last vlog, I was like 300 pages into Queen of Clown and Whispers. I haven't like read anything since then because that was last night. Um, so yeah, I'm still reading this and hopefully I will get that done today or tomorrow. And then I can move on to my next read. And my next read, because I want to torture myself, is... <laughs> Queen of Air and Darkness, it's just massive. So yeah, it's 800, nearly 900 pages. Um, yeah, I just decided I wanted to read a Shadowhunters book and this was the next one I had to read. <sighs> just happened to be a very, very long one. But I mean, they're all pretty long, so lovely. So Queen of Coin Whispers is a book by an Irish author it's like fantasy it's like high fantasy but it's not got like magic or anything and I don't think um and it's sapphic and a lot of political intrigue so yeah it's about like um so a girl has just become queen after her uncle died who was the king and she believes that um her life is in danger so she hires a girl to be her um, master of whispers, who's basically like a spy master kind of thing, does assassiny things kind of stuff. Um, and it's about their relationship and also the politics of the world. I don't know if you can see or hear, but like, it's crazy windy outside. Look at those trees, can you see them? What the hell? I think there's a storm of some sort. Or dense or something. Yeah, it's been like this all day. So it's after midnight on Friday night, so technically it's Saturday. Um, I've read 70 pages of Queen and Queen of Whispers. I think I have about another 70 to go. So yeah, I'll do that tomorrow morning, hopefully. Um, mm -hmm. My thoughts really haven't changed. Um, well, they haven't changed from my last video, basically. So if you watched my last video, you'll know my thoughts. Um, but yeah, it's just so, it's, I'm just really disappointed because I was really looking forward to this one because, like, I'm always looking forward to more, like, queer representation in fantasy and in the last 70 pages, a whole bunch of things have happened and I feel like the explanation's not really there for what's actually going on. I feel like I don't, uh, like, it's not quite clicking in my head and I, I'm not sure what's actually just happened. And I feel like the author's trying to imply what's happening and it's not, like, coming across well. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Um, 
Yeah, so I'll try and finish that tomorrow morning. And then I am going to re start reading Queen of Air and Darkness, which I should hopefully enjoy a lot more. Good afternoon, it is Saturday and I have finished Queen of Coin and Whispers. So I'm excited to move on to a new book because this one was a letdown. Um, so I felt like the pacing at the beginning was good and then it kind of got a bit slow and everything kind of stuttered and I didn't know where the plot went and then the last 150 pages were like fast forward I didn't know what the heck was going on everything just seemed to happen and time seemed to go by really fast and really slow at the same time like I just don't know time just seemed to be a weird construct in this book like there would be like chapters where it was like months had passed and then there'd be chapters where it was like hours and hours at a time and it just kind of confused me um I felt like the romance was a bit lackluster there's a lot of potential here so like I will probably I will probably look at picking up another book from this author because I feel like she does have potential like the plot was interesting once I kind of understood what was going on um I just felt like she kind of rushed it a lot at the end and but I mean it's a debut book so I'm not mad just disappointed <laughs> I sound like a parent I'm not mad I'm just disappointed <laughs> anyway so now that I'm finished that I'm going on to this beast it's barely even in frame because it's so large oh um yeah I'm excited to delve into more shadow hunters and to finish this series um it'll be nice to finish a series i haven't finished a series in a while and then i can move on to um well and then after that i can like read the rest of the books that i have that i haven't read yet aka i haven't read um i forgot what it's called the magnus book i haven't read the um ghost of the shadow market i've not read um the last hours i'm really excited to read the last hours because i love will and gem and tessa so i'm excited for that and to see their kids and stuff i love that kind of vibe um yeah so that will probably be next year knowing my reading pace and what i read and all that but yeah oh for goodness sake sorry i've just had a bbc news notification about dominic cummings defending himself about the fact that he bloody went out of lockdown absolute fucking dickhead i can't go and see my parents who i would still be in lockdown with because it's so bloody far away and like completely cut off from society because they live in a tiny place in the scottish highlands but you know he can go off fucking gallivanting to his family's house makes me so angry anyway today i've had some nice mail um i got some book sleeves so I got one for myself and um, which has a Cassa Cass which has a Cassandra Clare quote on it which is one must always be careful of books and what's inside them for words have the power to change us I like that quote and I like this book sleeve it's a nice like it's got some leaves it's got some books I like it and then I also got one for my best friend I asked her if she wanted one she said yes and I said I'll buy you it just pick out a design so she got tales all the time from Beauty and the beast it's so cute so yeah and i got those from book besties uk on um etsy and then i also got something else that i ordered on etsy which are these false nails because i'm a big fan of getting my nails done like i normally get acrylics and i obviously can't do that right now so i was like oh and so someone retweeted um the company what well, the company the person who makes the, these kind of nails onto my twitter timeline and i was like oh so i went and bought some and that's creative nails by amy which you can find on etsy i will leave links down below if you're interested in any of these but yeah so i decided to get some hand painted nails so yeah i'm gonna put those on once i've done all my chores because i need to do the dishes and i don't want to be doing the dishes when i got false nails on so yeah so I was going to put my new false nails on, but then my nail glue wouldn't open. So 
I've had to order some new nail glue and now my nails look minging because I like prepared them and like kind of buffed them a little bit to get them like smoother so now they look disgusting but that's fine the nail glue will come so so yeah I'm gonna do this jigsaw puzzle that my best friend got me it's got some dogs in London threads that was like hey I want to um, buy people some books if you would like to buy me a book here's my wish list and um, ask for other people for their wish lists and I bought quite a few books and I wasn't expecting to get this many and I'm like what the fuck <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna do an unboxing thing and that's gonna be in another video um which will probably go up for this one so yeah check that out I guess <laughs> So like I don't really want to do like spoilers in this but I feel like there might end up being spoilers so I will let you know if there's spoilers however I'm only on page 23 so it's not a big deal anyway. Is someone saying they want to put a wall around fairy and I'm like is this about Trump? <laughs> is this supposed to be Trump? <laughs> what the heck? Hey everyone it's Sunday. Um, I am wearing makeup because I have decided I'm going to shoot a video that is not a regular vlog video kind of thing. So I wanted to try something. So makeup. Anyway, anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to put some false nails on, um, because my nail glue has arrived. So this one is not, uh, stuck, so I can actually use it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to film that video. Um. I've read two chapters of um, Queen of Air and Darkness, which is 40 pages because Cass Clare's chapters are really fucking long. Um, and yeah, I'm enjoying it, but I forgot. Like, I knew what had happened at the end of uh, Lord of Shadows. Like, I, I could remember what happened then. So I kind of knew going into it there'd be stuff to do with, like, the grief of that and stuff. But I was like... I wasn't expecting it to be as sad as it is right at the beginning, but I should have been expecting it because I'm an but I'm an idiot basically. Um, um, I've nearly finished the jigsaw puzzle my best friend got me, so uh, I'm doing this on the same table as that. So I've put a nasty old envelope on top of it so that I don't like a big envelope so that I don't get any of my glue and stuff on the jigsaw. So that's why there's a nasty envelope. I think I need to go to the supermarket later, which I don't really want to do because I normally go on Mondays and I don't know how busy Sunday evenings are. So I'm gonna go, like, I'm gonna make sure I go like after the kind of period I would expect it to have a rush at. Um, but yeah, I have no breakfast food, which is why I need to go to the supermarket. I feel more human now with my nails on. <laughs> I'm always like a big nail person. Well, I'm not always a big nail person, but I go through periods of time where I always have false nails on. So like I go to like a girl um, who does my nails for me and there was like a period of like three months where I had them constantly last year. Like I'm not one of those people that's like got them constantly, like all the time because my nails just get absolutely messed up if I do that. But um, I do go through periods of having them for cons a consistent period of time. Um, so yeah, normally I have acrylics so I can like actually do things properly. So I'm a bit concerned about these cause I've not worn, um, like glue on false nails in a while, but I've never used this glue for regular nails. So, so hopefully this is better than like your average nail glue. We shall see. Hopefully they don't pop off, but knowing my luck they will. 
you may have met um, Trevor in another video. This is my neighbor's other cat, Harley. I think her name's Harley. Something Harley. But yeah, I need to get her out of my garden because I'm going to mow the lawn. But I think as soon as I get the mower out, she'll go away. I don't know what she's doing. Strange. Hey, so it is Sunday evening. And since I last spoke to you, I've had a very busy day. I So I went to Sainsbury's in the end. And it was actually so much better than I expected. It really wasn't busy at all. Like, I basically walked straight in. I only had, to, like, I literally was, like, second in the queue or whatever and walked in, like, in the space of about two minutes. Um, I got everything I wanted to get, um, which hasn't happened even in the days that I normally go when I feel like it's, like, a good busyness. Um, so, yeah, I've not managed to ha like... I don't really eat eggs much, but, like, there's certain meals I like. Um, so I'm... I'm a vegetarian and whilst that means I can't eat dairy and eggs, I try not to eat as much as like your average person. So like I try and cut down on them. I I try and have vegan alternatives. Um, But there's certain meals I like where I need eggs for them. And I've not been able to have them for like four weeks now because my Sainsbury's hasn't had any eggs. And I don't really want to go to any other shops at the moment because it... I feel like it could trigger my anxiety because I'd be like, I wouldn't know what to expect there. Whereas I know what I'm getting when I go to Sainsbury's. Um, so yeah, so I managed to get eggs. So maybe Sunday night should be my time to go to the shops now instead of Monday. Um, but yeah, so. And then when I came home, it was really nice and sunny outside. So I was like, can I mow my lawn at six o'clock in the evening? And I went and brushed my hand across the grass and it was dry and I got my lawn mowed and now I'm fucking exhausted because I'm in so much pain from doing that because it took me so long because the grass was so long but yeah and then I've just been watching Schitt's Creek as I eat my dinner and I'm at the point now where um oh I need to turn off my instant pot um but yeah I've been really enjoying Schitt's Creek actually I started watching it the other a couple weeks ago um but like the last few days I've been proper binging it um but yeah it's just it's so good to see someone on a television screen who is pansexual and is like a main character like oh god it just feels so nice so yeah I'm going to write a review I think tonight uh well it's nine o'clock so I don't know if I'll get much of a review done but I'm gonna try to write a bit of a review and then go to bed and read a little bit. I'm so tired. I just got up to do something in the kitchen because I needed to like turn off my instant pot. And my legs are so stiff. Oh, I feel like I've been doing a proper exercise. Hey, so it's bank holiday Monday. Um, I've had to work. Oh, simply because of like someone else being off. So that's fine. I'm not bothered whatever like I took the last one off so it's fair um yeah don't judge me I've been in my pajamas all day because I was just in a pajama mood I did not want to put any clothes on I mean I'm wearing clothes but I didn't want to wear it put on daytime clothes um I've had such a drama this afternoon I was sitting at my desk and like well not my, I don't have a desk I have a kitchen table but I was sitting at my table and I was like so I've got these nails on and I was like my pinky nail feels very tight. I would like to get this off and put it back on again so that it's not as tight because it was causing me discomfort. So I soaked it for a bit and tried to get it off and it still wouldn't like move. And then it started to get even sore, more sore and I was like, oh my God. And then I started pu pushing it up a little bit more and I swear to God, I thought the nail, like my natural nail had come off of my finger. And I was like, oh my God. So I put a plaster on it a band-aid for you Americans or any like I don't know who uses band-aid but yeah so I put a plaster on it and then it was getting even more sore and I was like oh my fucking god if I pulled my a natural nail off thankfully I've just managed to get it off now that I'm finished work and I was sitting here with like my finger in hot water and I managed to get it off and my nail is completely fine I was just being dramatic but oh my god I was so stressed if you've got if you've ever had acrylics or false nails, you will know the vibe. It's just all... The feeling, like, 
get taking your nails off is just like oh my god you just don't know what you're gonna get <laughs> good morning it's tuesday um um i didn't really update last night because i hadn't read until like 11 because i was vlogging and trying to put the closed captions on my first vlog so there they are now lie um sorry for this very bright light here um it's my French door. So yeah, anyway, I went to bed last night at like 11, half 11 kind of time. And I read a chapter and a bit of Queen of Air and Darkness, um, which doesn't sound like much, but when it's Cassandra Clear's looks, her chapters are so long, they're like 30, 40 pages. So yeah, I did that. We're now kind of beginning to get over the sad stuff, although it's still obviously going to be sad for a while if you know what happened in Lord of Shadows but I think we're beginning to like start getting into more like actiony kind of stuff um um we've just met um Jem for the first time in this book which makes me happy because I love Jem he's like my, one of my favorite Shadowhunter characters of all time um so yeah I'm intrigued to see where this goes because there's a lot of stuff happening that's like not great politically in the world and I'm like oh god is this gonna is it gonna end on a nice note or is it gonna be a setup for another series um because the politics is just like oh my god leave these people alone just let them have a nice life why are you like this and then when I finished when I kind of got like oh because I was beginning to get a bit like tiredy from like reading about like all this kind of stuff. I picked up um, a contemporary and that is, um, um, so it's The Henna Wars by Adiba Jagidar. I think that's, I'm sorry if that's not how you pronounce it. I asked my friend um, um, and that's a sapphic novel um, about, um, I think the main girl is Bangladeshi um so yeah and it's just about like she's just come out to her parents like that's like right at the beginning of the story so it's not like a major spoiler or anything um and her parents are like they kind of brush her off at the time and then she later hears them talking about her um like t talking about her coming out in a negative way so yeah and it's I think she has a thing with another girl who she has like she's in like competition with for like henna painting so yeah i've read about 10 percent of that and i'm really enjoying it it's like a really nice easy writing style to read nice break from like heavy fantasies that i've been reading lately so yeah i'm enjoying that one i can't wait to get into the romance and stuff so i got some mail today just thought i'd show you the picture of the golden retriever <laughs> Yeah, I got some mail today. Um, I've already unboxed it because I got impatient. Um, uh, yeah, it was a uh, proof that I have been expecting. Um, I thought I'd get it next last week, but obviously the mail's kind of slow at the moment. Um, so yeah, so that's um, Girl Serpent Thorn by Melissa Basher Doust or Doust, I'm not sure. Um, and this is um a Persian inspired um queer uh fantasy kind of thing uh i don't really know much about it i'll put the blur like the thingy on plot thing synopsis on screen for you so you can read it yourself because that will explain better than i can at the moment um and you can pause i'm excited about this one we love some diverse queer representation so i will probably read this um next month aka june because it'll be pride and this is out in july so it means i can get an art read before it's out and also a queer book in july so yeah not july in june <laughs> So I'm in bed, sorry for the woeful lighting, I just have my like light that's here 
Um, I feel like I look weird if I sit like this right in the light because it makes my eyelashes just vanish, I think. Um, so here we are, slightly shadowed. I read it in the sun earlier, so I'm now past page 100. Enjoying it, but can't believe I'm only a ninth into the book, basically. Um, I'm excited to see where the plot goes at this point now because things are beginning to like actually like kick up. Julian's just done something incredibly stupid and I'm like, what are you doing? I love you, but what are you doing? Um, I feel like that about a lot of the kids in these books. I'm just like, they just, oh, they're so silly. Um, yeah, so. And then I have my dinner and then, uh, what did I do? What did I do? I posted my book haul and did some Pilates and I watched a couple of videos. I've been basically for the past few days binging Schitt's Creek um, and I love it so much. I was like sobbing earlier at one of the episodes. I would highly recommend it. Um, yeah. So I'm nearly finished the next cha the chapter I'm reading of Queen of Air and Darkness before I go to sleep because I only wanted to really read one since, you know, I've, as I've said, the chapters are long. Um, but I just got really emotional <laughs> because there was a bit where, like, Helen and Aline are just, like, being wives and I just love it. I love reading about women loving women. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> it's just nice to see, like, such a loving relationship that's like well established and just so supportive oh love it love to see it that's why i wanted to hop on <laughs> this bit in the henna wars has made me laugh i guess my type is beautiful girl which is a lot of them <laughs> i really relate to that <laughs> so i'm at page 203 which you can see from my finger i'm pointing at um but yeah, I just wanted to show this, like, to, uh, drawing art. Art. I wanted to show this art. Um, So my version is the Waterstones version. It's got, like, all this art throughout. I don't know if all the versions have this. But there's, like, more later on, like, here. Um, Anyway. Yeah. Just wanted to show this art and how fucking scary it is. These are, like, some bird demon things. I think they're called, like, Harpia. I think that's possibly how you pronounce it. But yeah. Look how terrifying that is. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, I'm running away. Hey, so it's now Wednesday. Um, didn't really update this evening or today because I was just working and then I read for most of the evening, which was really good. I've got like 100 pages read of Queen of Air and Darkness. So I'm really proud of myself. Um, it feels like I've not read anything simply because... I'm now only like, I'm like 230 pages into the book and it's like 900 and I'm like, my God, it feels like nothing. But I know it wasn't, it's like a fair amount. Um, So yeah, I'm kind of pleased with myself. Um, I also did some Pilates tonight. I'm really trying to get back into the like swing of doing exercise and I can feel my body being sore from yesterday when I did some Pilates. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying Queen of Air and Darkness. Um, it's slow going, but it also doesn't feel slow going. I think because I know the characters well, it doesn't feel so bad because it's like all about like their per their like relationships with each other and stuff. And it doesn't feel slow going because it's like uh, learning so much new information about like their relationships. Because Cassie Clare does like relationships so well. Um, and like, I know, I knew going into this that there's like a polyamorous thruple and I can see that like beginning at the moment and I'm like, oh, makes me so happy. Um, Cause I, I am like, I'm a strong believer that had the infernal devices come out at a different time, um, that would have been a polyamorous thruple. But I also like the way it ended as well. So like, I don't have any, I don't have any huge qualms about it, but I do feel like had that been released, like had they started releasing Infernal Devices now, it would have been different, I think. Um, I really like the um, the way that grief is being shown in this. So yeah, every character is dealing with 
the loss of what happened in book two in completely different ways and it's really like it's written so well and I'm really like I'm not enjoying it because I'm not enjoying seeing people's grief but I am it's a good read and it's cathartic in a way for me um yeah so those are my thoughts at the moment um I'm excited to see where like this whole the plot with the fairies is gonna go um I feel like I'm in for some really crazy ride so that's on Queen of Ruin Darkness um I'm also enjoying the Hen Wars um uh I'm about 20% into that um so I'm probably gonna read a bit more of that tonight before I go to sleep um yeah that's a fun one well I'm really like we're kind of getting to like the kind of beginning stages of the crush and it's like gay yearning and I love that shit us women loving women are always about the yearning so yeah um the last part I read was like a scene that was like do like a kind of flashback to Nishat um dealing with a girl in her school who was called China because she was her parents got married in China but it's spelt with a Y I'm sure you can exactly imagine the kind of character she is but yeah dealing with her and like her friends and the kind of racism that she had to has to deal with from them like but yeah I feel like that's kind of been dealt with in a good way um so yeah, I'm excited to read more of that and get into more of the kind of, um, the two girls falling for each other. So yeah, it's an easy, like it's, it's an enjoyable writing style for me. So I like this position for like filming myself, but then I get in a bit of pain. So I need to like sit up. So today is the 28th of May. Um, to kind of date this, um, I've been spending a lot of time today retweeting black people's voices um and signing petitions in regards to the black lives matter movement and george floyd if you do not know what i'm talking about please make sure you go and look it up and support the black community because they desperately need it right now i mean they always need it because the racism is just important and black people face like the most hatred and racism um, especially uh, black women and trans black people um, so please make sure you boost people's voices make sure everything make sure people know what's going on and that it's not okay um, please sign petitions and donate if you can please take time out of your day to boost um, the voices of black people and to lend your support where you can whether that's Retweeting, signing petitions, donating to the cause. Um, yeah, just do that and make sure you're learning about the situation. I don't really know how to end this kind of section of what I'm saying, but yeah, just pay attention to what's going on around the world. Hey everyone, it's Sunday. Um, I've not vlogged. Um. It just didn't feel right for me to be filming myself talking about books when people are out there protesting against police brutality. It felt wrong. So that's why I haven't vlogged. Um, I've read a solid 500 pages in the past couple of days. Um, but I've also spent a lot of time signing petitions, um, doing some donations, retweeting, making sure black voices are being heard. Um, if you have people in your life who do not understand what is going on right now, educate them. Make sure they know. Challenge their racist remarks. Challenge their racist beliefs. Please make sure you're paying attention to things other than the news because the media is incredibly biased. Look at real pe person, real people's, look at real people's accounts on Twitter and see video evidence of people being peaceful and the police still attacking them for it. The police are the ones instigating the violence. They're the ones who started this. They're the reason people are out here on the streets. And when people are out on the streets peacefully protesting, the police incite violence. They're shoving people. They're hitting people. They are shooting people with rubber bullets. They are tear gassing people. 
It's not the people protesting that are causing this, it's the police. I'm going to leave links down below for um, the general, like, there's a kind of card thing going around that has all the links collated in one place, so I'll leave a link to that. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you'd like to leave a like and a comment down below, I would greatly appreciate it. Goodbye!